Hey, what up, everybody? This is Chris. Well, uh, but my name's Krennan. We got another... I'm still, I'm still kind of blowing smoke out my ears because the haters just refuse to give it up. I'm not hating. I'm merely making a video about how people, such as yourself, got famous. Girl... I don't understand. Look at this girl. To the bitches that want to fight me. To the bitches that want to fight me. Whoa. I don't want to fight you. But I would fight the fact that everyone has seen or at least heard of the internet phenomena YouTube. A web 2.1 video sharing website on the internet that by one estimate has almost nine years of video content. Bitch let's go girl! Though it was not the first sight of its kind, YouTube came from nowhere and established itself as a household name in a mere 18 months. Originally, when a beta version went live in May 2005, there was only about 30 videos, mostly of the creator's cat. But by mid-year, a strong buzz has been going around mostly due to the fact that it became the main video player for the popular social networking site, MySpace. How People Got Famous from YouTube by Aaron Crennan I want to talk to you for a minute about this new craze that's sweeping the nation. And it's so amazing. And like just figured out about it like just today. Apparently, it's so amazing. People are getting famous off the internet. And like making viral videos and crap. And it's just so amazing. I'm just so amazed. And now it appears that people are getting famous off of YouTube. Stories of people getting record deals or their own television web shows almost seem commonplace. Four instances jump to mind when fame and YouTube are crossed. Brookers, Lonely Girl 15, Lisa Nova, and Chris Crocker. Each has their own unique way of telling their stories on YouTube. And if they're not telling stories, well, they are doing something, well, outrageous. In this video, I will explain how people got famous off YouTube. Brooke Brodak, better known as Brookers on YouTube, is said to be the first performer to have been discovered on YouTube and offered a contract for mainstream media. In September of 2005, she began posting amusing videos of herself. Whether it was social commentaries or short movies about chips, and about 10 months later she was given an 18th month development contract from Carson Daly via NBC. She began slowly playing big parts at NBC sponsored video website. Then, later, she started her own web channel. Her more popular video, Chips, which I mentioned earlier, was even called Brilliant by Entertainment Weekly. Ha! Own oh, like a noob! Own oh, like a noob! Like a noob, you know you are! Own oh, like a noob! Okay, so I'm kind of in a blue mood again today, and I want to tell you all about it, but I can't, so I'm going to talk about my eyes. Jessica Rose, or Lonely Girl 15, originally was dubbed the real story of a 16-year-old girl just trying to make it in life. In her videos, she would talk about everyday occurrences that most people could connect to. To make it appear more believable, a MySpace page was even set up so she could correspond with her many fans. But as it turns out, all of this was just a ploy to dupe her viewers. It was after she was labeled as a hoax who just wanted to make a movie that she got her real fame. She now stars in the hit ABC show, Greek, which I've never actually heard of. Coming this summer, Lindsay Lohan shines in Sophie's Decision. Johnny? She's 20. Uh, uh, She's hot. Uh, uh, I <laughs> She's pregnant. <laughs> what are we going to do? I don't know, Johnny, but it's my decision. Lisa Donovan, or Lisa Nova, began her YouTube career in June of 2006, when she began parodying many famous celebrities, including President George W. Bush, and teen star Lindsay Lohan. 
She quickly became one of the most popular directors in the site's history, and because of this success was even given a featured player role in Mad TV of February of 07. However, after signing the contract, she only appeared in four episodes and then was cut the following season. I know, but is it mine? The kid? Are you sure it's mine? And how fucking dare anyone out there make fun of Brittany after all she's been through! Chris Crocker is one of the most talked about YouTube personalities today, and with his seemingly crazy rants about whatever he feels to discuss or whomever he wishes to call out, his popularity, both positive and negative, continues to grow. By far his most talked about video is his Leave Brittany Alone, in which he is begging people to, well, leave her alone. It was because of this video that got him on a lot of talk shows, and recently he just signed a contract for a development deal with MTV's sister network, Logo, to create a docu-style series. Her song is called Give Me More for a Reason because all you people want is more, 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 more! And sometimes these YouTube celebs mention other YouTube celebs. Here, Perez Hilton, another famous video blogger who can recently be seen on many VH1 commercials, and believed to be the heir to no hotels, is mentioned by Chris Crocker during his famous Leave Britney Alone video. <laughs> Perez Hilton talked about professionalism and said if Britney was a professional, she would have pulled it off no matter what. Speaking of professionalism, when is it professional to publicly bash someone who's going through a hard time? It's clear that not everyone will become famous from YouTube just like aspiring actors and actresses who move out to Hollywood. I'm sure, however, more and more will continue to pop up like spring daisies that grab our attention, leaving us behind with memorable moments that will be embedded in our memories. And why these four got famous is literally all your fault. They got to be popular and famous due to both their user-generated material and your feedback, a staple in where the internet is heading. The connection between these four isn't necessarily their popularity, but rather how they all knew how to use YouTube to create fame. Using clever taglines, pictures, or scripts, they all found a way to talk to each one of us through the internet. And that itself is a challenge. But why them and not somebody else? Only time will tell, because I'm sure there are another four people out there awaiting their chance for 15 minutes of fame. Leave credit alone!